Alright everybody, we're going up against the Feisty Seahawks. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. I think that last game I played was horrible. I think it was, like, what, three interceptions? Look at that! <laughs> Texans have a better overall than the Seahawks. <laughs> Did you expect that? <laughs> Should be interesting. I played another ultimate team game just before I started doing this. I won um, in the divisional round now. Beat the guy 21 to 14, and I thought I was I lost it because under two minutes left, he had the ball. I think at the 50 yard line it was tied at 14. He threw an interception, and then I just I uh, went down the field and I got a touchdown. I won the game. So now I'm on the divisional round. Okay, here we go. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Partner, good to be with you today. Good to be with you, too, Jim. You know what we're going to see today? Speak Two the that love to hit the quarterback. Keep right stay. Uh, Dang it, they scored a touchdown already. All right, let's see here. Foster's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Makes the grab. Uh, go Kishaw. Don't drop it this time. Okay, there he is. Foster. See the game. First down here after the Go, 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 go. Ah. Four yards. Time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Danny? I had a chance to speak with Coach Gary Kubiak this week. Guys, his team won a week ago, and Coach said that was despite not running the ball as well as they can. He said to win when we really only had half the offense clicking. Go, 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 go. We need more yes. From the oh, wow. This week. Nice can chancellor. To know we can win games in multiple ways. Guys, back to you. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. They've got a first down now after that catch. Looking across the nice. middle. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. All right, Aaron. The Seahawks go, 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 defense go. now is going to go nickel. Ran right into well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Okay. Let's see. You can get this. Third down now. Just a quick drop back. He'll fire it out to nice. the left. And the he is at the 38-yard line. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. And Daniels is playing out of position in the backfield oh. here. Should have had it. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time and it's a drop pass. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. There we go. Two hands, he has it. Good job by the play caller that time. All right, Harry, I'm going to trust pass. you. Even though Get it comes this. up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw there you screen go. plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today, yes. We know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. The Texans moving inside the 20. On, go, go, go. The uh, last dang. week, they just feasted on that part of the field. Okay, we'll run it again. Let's get a good gain out of this. Play after play after play here on this drive. Come on, go. Uh. To the running back. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice change up. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, 
but it only gets a short game. What a drive this has been. Quick drop back. Come on, yes! Gain of eight. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Mounting a serious drive. Ah. And he's thrown to the ground. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. They don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. This has been a long drive so far. Throws to the right. Ah, hand on it, and it's it. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Marching down the field and taking their time. Throwing now to his left. <sighs> the other way. They've got him down there. This deep. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. Two-minute warning. Okay, I have to work myself back down the field again. This will be second down. Three step drop. Going across the middle. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Getting the first down early in the game is always big for a quarterback. <laughs> and how big do you think it is for a rookie? That is a big weight lifted off his shoulder. Andre Johnson on the deep. Come on, pass. come on, clap. Ah! They bring him to the turf. God dang it. Martin's lined up in the slot. Dropping back three. The defense. Ah! That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Martin's a receiver in the slot. The formation here, shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. There we go. To grab it. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Nothing like seeing an aggressive receiver going up, attacking the football, and making the catch. Nice grab that time. This next play will be run from inside the 20. And a week ago, they were sensational. Ah. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocked the football out to the ground. The Texans lined up. Everybody split out wide. Third and goal from the three. Looking for an open receiver. No! Right. And intercepted. Uh. To take it the distance. Tackles made. You got it. God dang it. I'm getting torn apart here. And Daniels is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. He's tackled at the 28. I think the best thing to say about that play is just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple of yards. Foster's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Oh. And he hauls it in. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. That's the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He's brought to a halt. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running Mine. play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. No game on the play. To that last carry, it's third and three. Oh, come on. Right his fingertips. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Shut up. The Texans come to the line with an empty backfield. Takes the stab from the shotgun. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Oh, I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunate for them, they got it that time. Halfway through the third quarter, Foster. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Caught. Ah. 35. Always assess the situation. Good job that time by the quarterback. He saw there was going to be a blitz. He was going to be under pressure, so the heck with that play-action fake. Get rid of that football and get it to the open guy. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position to really, knock the football down. Fosters in the backfield, single back set. They run right. The tackle is made. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle, where the left tackle is the pass blocker. <sighs> For a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the kids. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit. That time. God! Breaking! That brings the play to an end. Good job. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Uh, come on, man. Let's go. Jeez. That means you play outside and you stop the wide runs by the offense. And he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. And Daniels is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. He makes the catch. And that gains a few. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback. And that's another completion by him. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think Mary. it's pretty apparent. There you go. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down even though they're losing here in the game. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. The pass play picks up only two, so now it's second down and eight following the completion. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. When you spy the I know, what doing it does, this. it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people covering the receivers down the field. Martin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Throws the pass. Incompletion on that hurry throw. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. Go, 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 go. This time, and he'll step out of bounds. 
this is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. From the shotgun. He'll throw it over. What? Oh, my God, dude. I wanted to leave. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second down and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. In his hands. Complete. Touchdown. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. From the eye. They give it to the deep back. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Texans team official. What they're saying is that it's a minor injury, but they've decided to hold him out for the remainder of their game. Their reasoning is this, guys. Having him healthy moving forward is more important than risking his health in this one game. Second and 12. Working that left side. Easy catch there. No one near him. Texas in for the score. Johnson's in the slot. First and 10. Here's the handoff to Arian Foster. They deck him in the backfield. Second down now. The give to the running back. Tackle down at the 22. Third down, following the run. Escaping the pressure, complete. Tries to ward off a defender with a sniff arm. The Seahawks with no timeouts left. Now a first down. Takes the knee. That's second down coming up. it this game is over Phil before we go how about a little chat about how much this win means well Gino Jim let's look at it this way it was just a nice win it, it keeps your confidence up and it just gives you a little energy to uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again